I wonder if you're a hi-fi snob. Well, this one is specially for you. Uh, over the years, the search for the perfect sound in the living rooms of Britain has caused endless boasts about who has the best woofers, tweeters and crossovers. Well, today, a new product appears in the shops, this is it, uh, to herald a new era of hi-fi snobbery. It's called the Compact Disc, which the manufacturers claim will mean the death of the gramophone record. Victor Amarongan reports. Just getting a sound of any kind was considered to be a miracle. By the time the gramophone record was in widespread use, standards of quality began to rise. And of course, the present generation of hi-fi technology has brought stereo into almost every home. Now, we are told, even the best record and cassette machines on the market are not good enough. The compact disc has arrived from both Holland and Japan to set a new standard. The ordinary record player uses an elliptical stylus which travels through a V-shaped groove to pick up the sound. Because of the physical contact with the disc, the problems of dust and damage are all too familiar, are all too familiar, are all too familiar. The compact disc works on a completely different principle. For a start, it's played from the underneath side, and instead of a needle, a beam of laser light picks up a series of digital pits and troughs. And because the sound signal is sealed into a plastic sandwich, the new disc should be more resilient than a conventional gramophone record. Well, let's give it the breakfast time test. Some honey, nice and sticky and runny. Smear that over liberally. Make sure it's nicely spread around there. Bit of coffee, should see it through. And uh, give it a quick wipe down. Right, that should be it. Let's see how it sounds. The compact disc represents a rare example of cooperation in the highly competitive hi-fi industry. European and Japanese manufacturers have agreed on a single compatible system, so one maker's discs will play on another's machine and all the manufacturers are confident that the compact disc will be a success. This remains to be seen. In recent years, the hi-fi world has become something of a graveyard for bright ideas that came to nothing. Remember the eight-track cartridge, hailed as the better quality version of the cassette? Remember the L cassette, launched just a few years ago as the ultimate in tape snobbery? And remember the quadraphonic record, no fewer than three incompatible systems appeared on the market to give us true three-dimensional sound. So isn't there a danger that the compact disc could go the same way? Yes, there's one major difference in that compact disc and digital audio in general is a real improvement, whereas with quadraphonic discs, I think a lot of the improvement existed in the minds of the marketing people. The compact disc system does have one major snag, the price. Initially, the machines will sell for about £500, and the discs themselves will cost £9 or £10. So for the time being, it's more likely to be a gadget for the rich rather than an overnight record revolution. But for those who can afford it, it does seem that the good old gramophone record, complete with clicks and scratches, really has had its day.